In this video, I'm going to review how you can use the Layer tab in the PLC300 tablet via the Data Manager app. To get started, simply go to Data Manager and open your file that you want to work with. I'll work with this demo mat project. Make sure that you open the specific job that has the drawing you want to work with, and it'll open up the drawing. What you'll notice is that regardless of which ribbon you have open at the top of the screen, you have a constant window right here that's inviting you to open up a side ribbon or a side curtain to do additional things with your drawing. That's where we're going to edit your layers. Simply swipe out from the right to see your options. When you swipe out from the right, you see that on your CAD file you have options to edit or hide your layers, change your view from top-down view, side view, bottom view, etc., and filter the points that you're seeing. I'm going to go through each of these but I'm going to begin with layers, as this is most commonly the thing you're going to use. If I click on layers, you'll notice it brings up every single layer that I have in this job. If I scroll through, I'm seeing all my CAD layers, and even at the bottom, the point layer that I'm creating my points on. So this check mark indicates my current layer. To show you how convenient this is, if you know that there's certain layers you can hide on your CAD drawing, you can simply come over here, press these red circles, and you'll notice that those layers are going to be hidden on your drawing as you work. So there I hid the first few layers at the top of the list. If I go back to my drawing, they are now hidden as I work. Now of course you're going to make this preferable to how you want to view it, but it's that easy. Open up this curtain, go to layers, and simply hide the layers that you know you don't want to see as you work, or that might be lagging or bogging down the drawing as you work. The second thing I want to show you is you'll notice if you're in here, if you swipe to the left on these layers, it gives you a delete or an edit option. These options are not available to be used on a CAD layer. For instance, if I press this delete button and I say yes, the layer cannot be deleted because it's a CAD layer. The software is going to protect you against hurting something that the drafter prepared for you. Same thing with editing. If I try to edit this layer, I'm not going to be able to change this name because it is a CAD layer and it protects the original CAD layer. However, you'll notice at the very top there's an option to add a layer. When you add a layer, what you're adding is a point layer. And I'll give you an example. I'm going to add a layer and I'll call this point two. Just to remind myself that I'm making my second point layer because I already have one. When I press OK, you'll notice at the very bottom of my list, I now have another Hilti layer called point two and it's turned green, indicating that that is my current layer that I'm going to be putting my points on. And let me show you how you might use this. Now that I have this second point layer in here, if I come over here, go to points, let's say I create some endpoints, I'll just simply tap on these walls and save these four points on the corners of my building. Those points are now going to be on that point two layer, and let's see what happens and the implications of that. Swipe right, go to my layers, and scroll down to the bottom, this point, if I hide my Hilti default layer now, all the points on the Hilti default layer are removed and now only point two layer is showing. If I show Hilti default layer and hide the point two layer, only the point two layer is showing. Just keep in mind that because this is my active layer, if I try to hide it, it won't let me hide it until I activate another layer and then hide this layer. Notice that you cannot activate or make a current layer a CAD layer. If I try to tap on that layer, it warns me that it's a CAD layer and it can't be my active layer for points. It must be on one of these point layers. Now notice if I swipe on this here, I can edit the name of this layer and rename it whatever I want. And it changes automatically because again, this is a layer you created on the tablet for yourself. If I created a bunch of points on this layer that I need to remove, yes, you have an option to delete it, but unfortunately it's not that easy. If I press delete, it's going to ask me if I want to delete it, but it won't let me delete it until I empty that layer. And so unfortunately, I'd have to go back into my point list on the drawing and edit my points individually and delete each and every one of them to make this little empty layer before I can delete it, which might be cumbersome for you. So just keep that in mind as you are working. But once I delete all these points, you'll notice that I can go back to that layer tab and simply swipe from the left and delete that layer now that it's empty and the tool will let me do so. So hopefully that helps you work with the layers, but the idea is that when you're working with your drawing, the most convenient way to use this tab is to simply 
uncheck the layers you don't need to make it easier to see. And I'd suggest that, generally speaking, all your points are going to be on the same layer anyway. So let's move on to the next screen. So now we have the cube, and the cube is very straightforward. You have top-down view, bottom view, so this is going to flip your drawing upside down, and you can see that now everything's backwards because it's bottom view. So please feel free to use this as you desire, as you work. Most people are going to keep it in default, top-down view. Lastly is your filter option, and this is for your points. There's a lot of options in here, but the main thing to recognize is this option right over here where you can filter between your point types. If I click on this, you'll notice that this lets me show only the points I want to see, whether they're control points, layout points, measure points, or station points. So if you watch these triangles over here on the left side, if I hide them and I press check, all my triangles are now disappearing. But it indicates over here whether or not I have a filter on, so you can know that you need to check that if you're seeing that only certain points are showing up. Same thing with layout points. If I turn off layout points, my layout points now disappear. Or I can obviously turn them all back on. So use that as you work. A lot of times this is convenient to hide station points so you, because you don't need to see where your, point, your station is put on the drawing or hide, hide your measure points or your control points because you're only focused on layout points, etc. Another thing you can do in here if you need to find only specific point names, for instance, if you have CPs, LPs, or if you named your points a specific way such as sleeves based off of their sizes, you can come over here to the filter and simply say that you want to find only points with certain text. And I'll say check, and now you can see that because I entered CPs, only the CPs are showing up on this side of the screen. So that can be very convenient if you've labeled your points a certain way. And then lastly, you have these two filter options that you probably aren't going to use very often, but this tag option lets you simply filter by coordinates, so you can have a low height value and a high height value, so you can find only points based off a certain height value. Same with your eastern coordinate and northern coordinate. So if you know your coordinate values and you want to search based off only coordinate values, simply go to that tag option that you see here. And even further, this is something that I've never used, but I know it's an option. If you know the date and the time that you placed your points on the tablet, you can simply search by the date that you know you placed them on there and find them that way as well. I hope this video has been helpful, and please leave any questions you have in the comments.